my brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Sunday, February 20th, 2022, the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our God is love. Let us give thanks and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, in this morning's Gospel, Jesus exhorts us not to be judgmental. This is a challenging teaching because it seems to be contrary to our God-given ability to observe and desire to correct the errors of others. In fact, God truly does want us to see evil for what it is. However, we are not to look down on sinners or condemn them. We are to be merciful as God is merciful. And brothers and sisters, let us pray. God stands in the divine assembly. In the midst of the gods, he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Do justice for the weak and the orphan, defend the afflicted and the needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Set them free from the hand of the wicked. Unperceiving, they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said to you, you are gods, and all of you, sons of the Most High. And yet, you shall die like men. You shall fall like any of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of James. Do not speak evil of one another, brothers. Whoever speaks evil of a brother or judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. If you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and judge who is able to save or to be destroyed. Who then are you to judge your neighbor? The word of the Lord. And on this Sunday evening, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Love for the God who has loved so? With love for the God who has so loved us, we pray. And our response for our intercessions is, Teach us your ways, O Lord. You made us in your image. Reveal your love to the world through our love for one another. Teach us your ways, O Lord. You showed the death of your love and the mystery of the cross. Grant us the wisdom to seek forgiveness rather than vengeance. Teach us your ways, O Lord. You taught us that all peoples are neighbors. Remove all the foul boundaries that set limits to our love. Teach us your ways, O Lord, and let us offer to God our own personal intentions, culled from the silence of our hearts. Teach us your ways, O Lord, and let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor, banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. May Christ dwell in our hearts through faith, and may charity be the root and foundation of our life. Amen. From the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 17. Brothers and sisters, let us end our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have a good night, brothers and sisters.